every child abused in any continent. Oh yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So um, Thanksgiving is actually one of my favorite times of the year because that's when all of my family comes together. Um, being in New York is super busy. Um, everyone has like crazy schedules. Um, we get like, I have cousins who live here that I don't even see in a month. I could probably see them just once. And you know, when I talk to my family in Nigeria, they're like, you haven't seen each other, why? I'm like, because we all work here. This is not Nigeria where you can be like a desicle, you have to work. What those hours? So yes, you, I don't get to see them all the time, but whenever we get to see each other, we make it worthwhile. So I'm definitely looking forward to Thanksgiving because it's going to be lots of food, lots of gossip, lots of mingling, lots of you know just family time, which is which is amazing for me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, London, London, London. Everyone who knows me knows how much I love London, but I've never been there yet. Scarce, very surprising, I know. But hopefully next year I'll be there. So why am I talking about London? My cousin is coming through for Thanksgiving. Kemi is going to be here. Um, Kemi is a makeup artist. She does the best makeup I, I, I know of. I've seen her works and it's amazing, not because she's my family, but she's really good at what she does. And she makes wigs as well. So ladies, if you want to make those wigs, if you want to look nice for that event, your weddings especially, let me talk to my cousin Kemi. Hi, my name is Kemi Fade. I am Dial's cousin all the way from London. Um, I come to New York every Thanksgiving for about a week, two weeks. I love it. I love the idea of it. I love that the aspect of family time. Um, so it's always a big deal for me to make sure that I'm here. I love him so much. He's probably one of my favorite cousins. If my other cousins are watching, I love you guys too. We've got the Feel the Beat going on now and um, encouraging people to love music and, what, and ask them what they love about music. He loves his personality show, the whole... Dial Dane show. So many times he's used me as like a pretend guest on the show. Um, I loved it, Dial. I loved it. I'll do it again. Ooh, we have enough salt already. And my name is Illuminate Famager and I'm Dial's cousin. Much hasn't really changed about Dial. He's always been a great lover of music, very en energetic, vibrant, loving. Uh, his worth ethic is unlike any that I've seen, you know, anything that he loves and he put his mind to, he sees it 100% to the end. His strong passion for theater arts, performing, and music, uh, he's recently come out with a song which I thought was really, really good, a really good song. Uh, I would say my experience as a Nigerian nowadays has completely changed from my experience growing up. I was born here, so... Back in the day, Nigerians weren't, well, Africans weren't really accepted. We kind of always made fun of. But I think through, you know, music and our dancing and our culture has kind of become more accepted. Nigerians have come to the forefront and taken pride in, in our culture, taking pride in our music. And I think a lot of people have now come to see that, you know, we're pretty, pretty, pretty cool people. Niger, I love you. <laughs> Nigeria, I love you. Nigeria, I love you. Nigeria, I love you. We be rising to the top. They don't know what we go through. Hey. Nigeria, I love you. Nigeria, I love you. Nigeria, I love you. Trying to make it to the top. Tell me what we going to do. In the line of my forefathers, I come from a dope. Okay, so um, I was born into a Christian family. I'm, born again, I'm a born again Christian, and um, I I love Jesus, and I always want to. I believe that I'm an ambassador of Jesus here on earth, and I'm not that person who will go, "You must do this, you must do that." No, but I just believe that your life is an example to other people, and the greatest commandment of all is just love. Love people out there. Show love to different people. And I go to a church called Liberty Church, and uh, we have four communities. We have one in Union Square, one in downtown, one in Upper West Side, and one in Brooklyn. But I'm part of the Union Square community. I plan to like church hop till I find the church I really want to go to. But that was the only church I hopped into, and that's where I am right now. Liberty Church, and it's been an amazing experience. If you're ever in New York, please come down to Liberty Church and experience the love truly is.
So tonight we're going to have rehearsals at the church. Um, I attend Abundant Grace Christian Church. As you know, faith and church is a big part of the Nigerian culture and is also a big part of my life. Um, I'm excited to meet with the team. Um, thank God I'm the team leader in my church and we have a great media team. And I'm excited to uh, meet with the team tonight and go over a few things um, setting up service for Sunday. Um, I love the pastor at the church, Pastor Steve, Pastor Steve Hannick. What I love about him the most is he really has a genuine, genuine love for others and he wants to see people live the life that Jesus paid for us to all live. You will quit. <laughs> God bless. My name is Steve Hannett, and I'm pastor of Abundant Grace Christian Church and the founder of a ministry called Jesus Reigns International. Chum is using his design that God made him to be a creative person, working in the arts, working in music, working in sound to produce things. That's a very valuable and exciting career because that is how God designed Chuma to work and to function. I'm excited for what's going to happen in Chuma's life. I expect big things from this young man in the world. You make sure you remember the name Chuma Nwakike because people will know because God desires to take the light that's in him and share it with the whole world through his art and through his gifts. God bless you. So I just started interning for a fashion blogger. Her name is Beverly and her social media is Life in Beverly Heels. So you guys should go check her out. But um, what I do for her is I am the creative mind of her brand. She's more of like, she does like the logistics and I'm more of the creative person. So I help her with her feed and what to, what to post up. And we also um, travel. So we are going to Art Basel, Basel. I think that's how to pronounce it. Please forgive me. Um, we're going for, it's like Art Basel is like the fashion week of art in Miami. So we're going to do that. So we are going to Art Basel to network and build her brand and build her contacts. And I'm also going to build my contacts as well. So it's going to be a great experience just to meet other people in a different city. So that will be fun because I've only been to Miami once for a friend's birthday. So this will be like my second time going. And also I'm Beverly's actually helping me become a social media consultant. So I'm also she's my client and I'm also building her brand. So I'll be able to gain and learn from her and also start helping other people build their brands as well as be a journalist. So it's kind of like a side gig. So today I am going to be going out in Kemi. We're going into the city. She loves Times Square, which I don't like. Um, I feel like Times Square is too touristy. There are too many tourists that come to Times Square. But people who come from other parts of the world enjoy Times Square. The food is zero. If you're ever coming to New York, please do not eat around Times Square. I'll tell you that for a fact. The food is whack. But my cousin loves it, so I'm going to go with her today. We want to go shopping, um, have lunch, and I think she's going to be meeting with one of her friends who's also coming in from London. So we will definitely, you know, check out a few stores, and I'm definitely sure she's going to go into one of the makeup stores on Times Square. Probably Sephora. I know she loves Sephora a lot, so we're going to check that out. Yeah, pretty boy. We can check out American Eagle. You might like, see something that you'd like, yeah. You don't have this in the store, that size in the store. Yeah, those guys size. I don't know. It sounds like an aggressive Christmas song. <laughs> I mean, we won't go until we get so. I'm like, like we know the deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live in New York. <laughs> <laughs>
The lies on my back. My tribe is on my chest. I'm going to go recommend a sailor. We're not sailors. This is really different. Oh, really? It's outside. There's like a live band. And they sing. Oh, wow. And it's not a sailor. I know sailors does something similar as well. It's not a sailor. It's something else. I like sailors, though. Somebody else recommended them as well. It's a very... It's a fast up or like a crazy kid. It's like a fast up or like a crazy kid. It's like a fast up. Like, but Taylor's is good, it's a like good getaway. Like, if I want to hide, I don't want to see people. Like, what's Taylor? Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Alright, Cammy, that's enough shopping for one day now. You don't want to miss your flight. Oh.